Hello everybody, I thought for my little return to YouTube with a couple of videos, I thought I'd go back to the good old times of 2010 YouTube and do a video games pickup video of games I bought recently. I used to do these under the, under the name New Game Plus, so I've done these for years and I thought now that uh, I kind of got back into buying some retro games and also modern games, I thought I'd show you what I bought over the last couple of months, I thought it would interest you to see what I'm playing and what I'm interested in right now. Before we get to the Redpool stuff, I want to get into the modern stuff I bought. Uh, a couple of Switch games. I only really buy Switch games nowadays. Like, there's not even a question for me if there's a Switch version, even if it's way worse than the PlayStation version, like I'm, I'm getting it for the Switch because... Having the portability is a big deal for me. Time on the couch, playing on the TV has been limited over the last couple of years. So I got this mainly for my girlfriend who was a huge fan of the Nintendo 64 game, New Pokemon Snap. We finished this, it's, it's nice. I got this because a friend kind of uh, told me he was getting it, I should get it. So I got Monster Hunter Rise, I played like 70, 80 hours in one month. Uh, the DSC is out now. I haven't really gone back to it after beating the first Elder Dragon that they have, or the second one. So basically the final boss of the base game. And yeah, I haven't really gone back to it. So maybe at one point in the future. These two I got for relatively cheap. And uh, this is Catherine Full Body. I sold my entire Xbox 360 collection, or at least a huge part of it. And I sold my copy of Catherine, the original, to upgrade to the Switch version. I just beat this yesterday, actually. And here's a game I've been interested in since launch, but like uh, the reviews kind of told me, uh, maybe wait a little bit. Now I got it for 20 euros, Disaster Report, for Summer Memories. I'm excited to play this. Uh, so yeah, I bought it. 20 euros getting into this. It's like my type of game. Just And I mean, look at the cover. It's beautiful. Just just to have it on the shelf. Like, it looks nice. I, I would buy a poster of this. Is there a poster of this? I will buy it. So now we are getting into the retro games. Just a heads up. I, I Yes, I'm one of those guys. I created an Instagram account to kind of share my collection. I'll put a link down in the description. You can also look for, I think, Deja's uh, Game Collection is the name. Very unoriginal. So, But yeah, if I buy some kind of new game, that's the place you will hear about it first. I imagine. Maybe on Twitter as well. So I bought a few games here. These are the first for the Master System, Alex Kid and Miracle World and Transport on the Sega card. Uh, I did a whole unboxing of the box when I, when I got this, so this will come in the future. I actually own both of these games. Like, oh, everything is falling over. I own copies of these two. Uh, so why did I buy it? Watch that video coming in probably like the next few days, a week. Who knows? Here we have a few Dreamcast role-playing games. I completed, in my eyes, the Dreamcast role-playing game collection for the US. So I got Time Stalkers, Evolution, one of my favorite games on the Dreamcast, and Fantasy Star Online. So I actually already filmed a video about the US Dreamcast collection with some of the interesting information for collectors and yeah, people just interested into Dreamcast RPGs, so that video will also be up in like a week, two weeks. Who knows? So subscribe, look out for that. I'm also trying to complete my Master System role-playing game collection. This is Ease the Vanished Omens. I bought this because I love Ease, <laughs> and this is the first Western release of the game. I think it came before the DOS version and things like that. Um, yeah, and one of the reasons I bought this is it comes with the German manual. So the original German releases came with a German manual like this. There's also another variant of that and the English one, which is here in the back. So this is basically a complete copy of Ease the Vanished Omens. Now I'm only looking for a fantasy star with the German manual and then I need to complete some of my other copies and the collection is, in my eyes, complete. There's always stuff like Lord of the Sword, which I don't really count. 
I'm also going for a complete collection of Xbox 360 role-playing games and I bought some games that I've been wanting for years but never quite pulled the trigger on. Enchanted Arms, never played it. It's from some from software and they were not really known for making good games before the Dark Souls uh, games came out. I mean, I, I like them and uh, I'm a huge fan of Kingsfield, so I'm very open to give this a shot, but like I'm not expecting much. This one I actually finished yesterday as well. It took me a month, Lost Odyssey, and after hearing praise for this game for, well, 15 years now or so, it's a solid game all the way through. Everything it does, it does pretty well, but, like, it doesn't stand out to me in, in my eyes. So, but get it. I mean, it's backwards compatible with the Xbox One. There's nothing you can do wrong here. This was a trade. I don't really remember for what <laughs> what I traded for this, but I got Golden Sun, the, the German version, sadly, uh, for the game at once, complete in box. Always wanted to try this out. I've been hearing great things about it. And the condition is not the best. You can see the box is kind of falling apart. I'll see if I can fix that. But yeah, finally being able to play this, I need to get my old game at once and give it a shot. Here we have Enemy Zero for the Warp Collection. You may remember, like, I already have Enemy Zero. Why did I buy this? So this here, let me just grab it. This is my Enemy Zero copy that I have. And you see there's a bit of a difference between the two. This is the one with the, like, 3D style cover. Oh, hello there. <laughs> yeah, and what always annoyed me, even though the cover is great, when you look at it from the side... Like, there's no inlay there. The spine is completely empty. But there's also a version that does not have the 3D picture. And it has a proper spine. Uh, it's not like this one is not incomplete. This is how they were released. I talked to someone who also uh, had two copies. I, I bought this from him. And, yeah, this is just how it was released. So there are two versions of it. I recommend both. Now the... Kenji Eno collection is, well, kind of complete again. Here we have Grandia 2. I already own Grandia 2, so <laughs> you, you, you may see there's a bit of a wet thread through the entire video. I already own most of these games, so what is the reason? This is my Grandia 2. You can see there's a crack in the case, but that's not really a problem. It's, there's no manual. I bought this in 2010 and I looked my, I looked at my Amazon, um, my Amazon buy list and I, po I paid I think 10 euros for this. But yeah, I needed that to complete the Dreamcast RPG collection, as I said earlier. Video coming later in a couple of weeks. Like I said, stay subscribed, stay excited for Grandia as well. I got the uh, I got Grandia for the PlayStation. You may ask, you already own Grandia for the PlayStation, so why did you buy this? Uh, yeah, so this is the US version. The version I had is the German PAL version of the game. And there's also, like, I had, like, the greatest hits version at one point. I upgraded to this, and now I'm upgrading to the US version. Like, if you think the US version has very bad voice acting, don't even try playing the German one. You all may know that the Bokte games are my favorite games of all time. Bokte 1 is, like, my favorite number one game. And the whole series is very dear to my heart. And I never owned a legitimate copy of Lunar Nights or Boktai DS, as it's known in Japan. Like, it's a disappointing sequel to the Boktai series, but overall, it's still a great game. I just started replaying it yesterday. It's not a Boktai game, at least gameplay-wise. It's connected to the originals, but, I mean, it's a completely different game. Here we have two copies of Parasite Eve. Why did I buy two copies of Parasite Eve? I already own this copy of Parasite Eve. So, funny story here. I, I'm, I'm kind of getting into uh, the US JRPG market a little bit. So, like I said here, Grandia, I, I'm upgrading the games to US versions because of the 50 hertz problem. And I bought one copy. And, of course, when you're, you're looking on eBay, you're always watching different auctions of Parasite Eve. So I bought one for a pretty good price, I would say, like around market value. And the other copy I was watching was ending like a day or two later. 
and it was a really good deal. So the price was really, really cheap for, for Parasite Eve, like around 30% less than I paid for my copy. So yeah, I bought a second copy of Parasite Eve. That's like quality-wise, there's a crack in the case. The manual is not the greatest condition. There are scratches on the discs. I mean, all fine to me, but yeah, it, it just makes great trade bait. There are still a few games I'm looking for and just having nice, more expensive games in the same category of games you're looking for, like PlayStation RPGs or PlayStation 1 or 2 RPGs, just makes a good thing when, when you want to trade other people. And that's basically it. Oh, it is not, because I, I almost forgot this. Uh, I got a package today that I want to unbox. I just need a pair of scissors to open this. All right, I opened the package. Here it is. Let me just get out what's inside. And I'm really excited for this. I've been wanting to buy this for like five, six years. And never, never, uh, it's relatively expensive. And I never really got the chance to get one for a good price. This is not a game. This is D2 Remixes. Uh, basically, uh, remixes, new recordings, new versions of the D2 soundtrack. D2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Of course, it's made by Warp. It's made by Kenji Eno. And just overall, I love this game. I love this company. I love everything about it. And I really like Kenji Eno's music. So getting one of the soundtracks sealed. I kind of want to open this, but I think I'll just keep it sealed for my... Kenji Eno and Warp Collection. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, stay tuned for a few other videos. I've been secretly selling a huge part of my video game collection. And you see, I used all of that money to fund my addiction and to kind of get back into retro gaming. I'd have to tell you, I've been having so much fun just looking through eBay, talking to people, putting together collections of games I want to get and slowly getting back into collecting. You may have realized I got out of retro collecting and had to focus on modern games because I was playing them and I always had a bad conscience just having all these games unplayed. And I had to really rethink what I'm doing and I think I'm, I'm a lot happier with collecting and playing games right now. But I'm, I hope you stay around for that video and I see you next time. Bye.